Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Late Night Football. Today, we're talking about my favorite position of all time. The tight ends, you guessed it, man, it's gonna be a good one. But before we dive into this tier list, I got a question for you. Do you love the NFL Draft? If you do, welcome home. You're in the right spot. Go subscribe, because I'm bringing you a tier list for every single position all off season long. We already got two out. This is the third one on the way. Also, we are brand new to YouTube, so that subscription is gonna go a long way. Now, fellas, let's cut the chit chat. Let's dive into this tier list where we got studs, sleepers, everything far, few, and in between. I'm ready to break this thing down. I hope you are. Let's dive into this tier list. Standing at the top of the mountain, he's the most diabolical tight end in the world. Introducing Brock Bowers out of Georgia. Brock is the tight end every modern NFL franchise dreams of having on their roster. Not only is he a game changer with the ball in his hands, but he is also a blocking weapon of mass destruction. Brock's biggest difference maker ability that separates him from the rest is his yak. His yards after catch and yards after contact are second to none. Don't you dare try to arm tackle this guy. It is not gonna work. He bounces off full body tackles. It does not matter. Brock's second biggest X factor is he is too damn big to be moving that fast and that quick out there in space. He outruns backers, sometimes the slot corner, safeties for sure. Nobody can catch this guy. Now, after all these great things I just said, you're thinking, Cade, it just cannot get better. Au contraire, it can get better. Brock, as a tight end, also loves to block and he's damn good at it. He has excellent hand placement in the blocking game, runs his feet extremely well, and not only is he a dog, but he's a dog. Brock Bowers is a dog, and I love watching him play, and he's gonna thrive at the NFL level. Now, fellas, let's transition. In this great tier, I'm gonna keep it a buck with you. We got some studs. We got a pair of two studs right here. Let's talk about their game. Jatavion Sanders at a UT and Ben Sinnott at a Kansas State University. Jatavion Sanders is a nightmare scenario for any NFL defensive coordinator. He will outrun and shake anyone assigned to cover him, but even if you're lucky and you end up block step with him, Jatavion has impeccable ball skills and will win at the point of attack and come down with the contested catch every single time. Jatavion's biggest X factor has got to be his burners. The dude can flat out fly down the field. The dude is a true seam ripper and just a nightmare for these coaches. Now a close second, Jatavion's hands? Out of this world. Sanders is a very unique combo of soft, strong hands. By that I mean, when it's contested, dude's gonna pluck that thing out of the air. He's strong. He's gonna win that point of attack. But when he's got some space, he makes the catch look effortless and like nothing even happened. Now, these players are tight ends, so you're probably thinking, can this guy even block? Because that is kind of important. And I'd say, I think he can, but I know he has the willingness to. And that's what matters. A lot of these guys that are receiver tight ends, they really don't want to get involved in that. And I get it. It's not that glamorous. But Jatavion takes paint off helmets. When he does get in the action, he has fun with it. He actually cares and he's passionate about it. I think Jatavion Sanders could be something real in the NFL. Now let's move over and talk about Ben Sinnott. Ben Hulk Sinnott is the H-back chess piece that these coaches pray for. He is an exceptional blocker. I mean, phenomenal. Inside, outside, in motion. I mean, he's an H-back. ISO, counter, he could do it all. I'm nerding out, but man, it's fun to watch him play. So I understand, fellas, he's not an NFL guard, right? He's gotta do more than just block. Oh, he can. Oh, he can move. He can move, he can run routes. He's not as fast as like a Jatavion Sanders, but dude, he gets going. Ben's got it all. He can run routes. He's got plenty of speed to get it done. The only thing that coaches are kind of questioning is like, can he separate? I think he separates just fine. And even when he does it, he wins contested catches. Ben's in it, my sleeper. No one's got him this high. I do. Big fan of Ben Sinnott. I hope he gets high draft capital. It goes to a great team in the NFL. Now let's go to our next tier, our good tier, and talk about some stud players there. First, we got Cade Stover out of Ohio State. Dallin Holker out of Colorado State. And last but not least, Jaheim Bell out of Florida State. These guys are all very different, all in different conferences. Let's talk about their game. Cade Stover first on our list. First off, glaring strength. Fantastic name. Good job, parents. Now let's talk about the rest, stuff that actually matters. The dude's got the prototype NFL size. 6'4", 250 is what you want in your tight end in the NFL. And this dude fits the resume. Now what separates you, of course, is can you move? And this guy can move pretty well. Cade's got a great feel for routes, and he wins a contested catches. He extends for the ball. He uses that length like a good tight end should. While Mr. Silver's not known for being a burner like Jatavion Sanders, he's got a good combo of route running and speed to get himself open away from these linebackers. In the blocking game, I think he does a good job. Is he over the top like Brock Bowers? No. Is he like Ben Sinnott? No. But he's pretty dang good. I'm a big fan of Kate Stover. There's a lot of optimism here for him to have a very good NFL career. Now let's talk about my guy, 
Dallin. Dallin Holker out of Colorado State. Dallin's got a unique story. He was at BYU, right? I think he met a girl there. She moved to Colorado State. They were a package deal. He went as well, hit the portal. Dallin, last year, killed it. I mean, killed it for Colorado State. He looked phenomenal. This dude was making plays all over the field. Dallin Holker is a yak machine. Yak, yak, yak. This guy gets moving. His second biggest X factor, without a doubt, the dude's hands. They're insane. I mean, you throw the ball in a two-car garage, he's coming down with the football. He can catch low, high, one hand, over the shoulder. He does it all. Can he block? Yes, he can. But would I draft him for that reason? Hell no. He's a weapon. Get him out in space. Let him make plays. That's the kind of tight end he is. I'm a big fan of Dallin Holker. Next, we got Jaheim Bell out of Florida State University. The best way I can break his game down, imagine a big, fast, strong running back at the tight end position. That's what he is, man. The dude can flat out fly. I mean, he is quick. He's a seam ripper and he is elusive. Great with the ball in his hands. He's something special. When it comes to blocking, Bell is a little bit inexperienced in that category, but still, he does a good job. A huge gauge of his draft stock went into the senior bowl and he had a very good senior bowl. He ran good routes, won a lot of one-on-ones, did his thing. He was for sure a standout there at that competition. I think Shaheem is a true chess piece. What will Shaheem Bell be in the NFL? A tight end, a wide receiver, running back? I can tell you, he's a weapon. That's what he is. And some NFL coach could be a big fan of Jaheim Bell and his game and find himself on that roster come draft season. Now, fellas, let's put a tier shift into our solid tier. Tons of talent here, guys. Let's talk about him. First, we got Jared Wiley at a TCU, Theo Johnson at a Penn State, AJ Barner at a U of M, and Bevin Span Ford at a Minnesota. Let's start this thing off with Jared Wiley. Jared is a very unique prospect, a transfer from the University of Texas. Jared's game is he is an athletic tight end with great hands. Also as a bonus, he blocks at the second level pretty consistently. This dude was putting up numbers last year and racked up eight touchdowns throughout the year. Now I will mention a lot of these touchdowns were kind of makeshift, made open, but also he has plays where he does it all by himself, so I'm not too worried about that. Jared's got tons of ability. I think he's gonna find a real home in the NFL. Next, we got Theo Johnson at a Penn State University. Theo is a big fella. A Big Ten tight end, get out the way. Theo is a mauler in the run game and pairs that nicely with some good routes and solid hands. Next, we got A.J. Barner at a U of M. A.J. Barner is a big slot, red zone type of target for an NFL team. When it's third and goal, he's got good hands. He's going to make it happen for that squad. Last but not least, we got Mr. Span Ford out of Minnesota. This big fella is a giant. 6'6", 270, no thank you. I don't want to get in front of that guy. He's a very good blocker and he runs pretty good routes for how big this dude is. That was our group. Now, last but not least, let's dive into our talent to develop tier. On this talented squad of tight ends, let's go through this list. First, we got Trey Knox out of South Carolina, Eric All out of Iowa, Johnny Wilson out of Florida State University, and McAllen Castles out of Tennessee. Let's run through this list. Trey Knox's biggest attribute, he's got great ball skills and a very good blocking resume. For Mr. All, he is out of Iowa. He is out of tight end university, so you know one thing's true. The guy can block and he's got pretty dang good hands. Next Next, we got Johnny Wilson out of Florida State. Cade, he's a wide receiver. I know, I know, but in the NFL, he is most likely going to be an NFL red zone threat. And I think he'll do very nicely at that role in the league. Last but surely not least, McAllen Castles is a very good all-around blend in what you want in an NFL tight end. Fellas, what did we think of the video? Did you enjoy it? If you did, drop a like and subscribe because we are brand new to YouTube. If you hated it, that's okay. Let me know all your thoughts, what you would change. Drop that in the comments because I respond to every single comment. We are a brand new channel. I'm going to respond personally to every single one of you because you took the time out of your day to comment on something that we made. If you enjoyed this kind of video, we got a quarterback one, we got a running back one, tagging them here and here or in the corner, wherever I do, go check it out. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you more than you know. Have a great one. Love y'all. Peace.